Welcome back to KCTV English News. I'm Hee Jung Lee. The provincial government and the provincial council have officially proposed to Seoul to vaccinate Jeju residents first. Governor Won Hee Dong and Chua Nam Su, the chairman of the provincial council, visited the Seoul government complex on the 11th to meet with Prime Minister Kim Bu Gyum and requested that vaccines for 490,000 people and 70 percent of residents, which is the amount required for mass immunization, be assigned to Jeju. Prime Minister Kim replied that he would review the proposal with related agencies, including the Korea Disease Control and Prevention Agency, after expressing his agreement on using Jeju as a nationwide model for herd immunity. The meeting also discussed the need for state financial contributions to support for tourism companies, which have suffered economic losses due to preventive quarantine measures against infectious diseases. After social distancing policies have been strengthened, a number of multi-use facilities were caught for violating quarantine rules. The province said it has detected more than 70 violations after conducting intensive inspections of multi-use facilities since May 31st, when social distancing was upgraded to Level 2. As a result, administrative measures, including fines, were taken on 36 sites and administrative guidance measures were taken on 35 businesses. The largest number of violations came from non-compliance with business hours with 11 cases, followed by 10 cases of incomplete disinfection or ventilation registers and 7 cases of incomplete entry logs. It was belatedly confirmed that the culprit of a local sexual assault case from 20 years ago was handed over to trial one day before the statute of limitations expired with evidence derived from genetic analysis. According to the Jeju District Court, a man in his 50s has been indicted and is being tried for sneaking into a house in March 2001 and raping a woman who was in the house before running away. This case was unsolved until a DNA analysis was carried out in March 2019, which revealed that the DNA found in a bundle of tissues left at the scene was identical to the alleged assaulter. Following the result, the Jeju Supreme Prosecutor's Office indicted the accused man on March 2nd, just one day before the statute of limitations expired. In particular, the man was arrested for 183 crimes, including 18 sex crimes and 165 violent crimes, and was sentenced to 18 years in prison in 2009. He is currently on trial in the Jeju prison. It has been confirmed that many patients abided by the referral set forth by a system where doctors and pharmacists recommend COVID-19 tests to patients with suspicious symptoms. Since April 14th, the province has issued an administrative order for people with suspicious symptoms to receive COVID-19 tests within 48 hours if referred by a doctor or pharmacist. It has been confirmed that 119 patients, or about 25 percent of the cases that have been confirmed since the enforcement of the order, have visited hospitals and clinics. The province found this as an effective method in the early detection of people with symptoms of COVID-19. On the other hand, those who do not comply with this referral will be fined. So far, no cases of violation have been reported in the province. Thank you for joining us today at KCTV English News. Be sure to follow us on YouTube at KCTV E! News Jeju and on KCTV's VOD service. Have a great evening.